Here's everything that you need to learn so that you can get a job as an Azure AI engineer. In this video, I'm going to cover all of the Azure AI services that you need to know because the goal is to become an Azure AI engineer as fast as possible. First of all, cloud engineering is in demand and it's one of the best paying professions nowadays. I'm sure it's going to still be relevant for years to come because more and more businesses are replacing their infrastructure with cloud services. And if we pair that with AI, I think we have a winning combination. So one of the best ways to stay relevant in the next years is to develop AI solutions on Azure. About myself, I've been using Azure for years. I'm a Microsoft certified AI engineer and I'm a Databricks Partner Solutions Architect Champion. And I've built a lot of production Azure Databricks solutions and that got me that title. And when it comes to Azure alone, I've done the same, specifically leveraging their AI services. So you can be certain that I know exactly what I'm talking about in these videos and I'm trying to help anybody that is interested in pursuing these, uh, these passions of mine. So hit the like button, subscribe and share this if you want to become an Azure AI engineer. Let's get straight to the point and let's look at all of the Azure AI services that you need to know so that you can get a job as an Azure AI engineer. Azure Machine Learning. Azure ML is one of the most straightforward services because it helps with creating, training and deploying machine learning models. It supports managing training data, building models using various machine learning algorithms and deploying those trained models as web services. And that's because you want to deploy those, you want to integrate them into your applications. The basic idea is that you have some data that is labeled. That's your training data. Then you take that data and then you use it to train a machine learning model. From that training, you get a final model. And then once you're happy with its performance, then you deploy it. Potentially as a web service that you can then later use through different applications. And that's the gist of it. Azure AA services. This is actually a collection of APIs, SDKs and services. It includes services for vision, for speech, language, decision and search functionalities. We're going to cover all of them individually, but the reason why Azure groups all of these services under one service is that you can actually access all of these AI capabilities through a single platform. You don't necessarily need to manage multiple separate services or APIs. So billing is simplified under one umbrella and you only pay for the resources that you use. You get better integration because you only use one set of keys and endpoints. So it's easier to actually develop and integrate your AI solutions. Computer vision or AI vision. AI vision provides algorithms in order to process images and videos. And then it returns information based on visual features. It's used for tasks such as analyzing images in order to provide descriptions or to read printed and handwritten text or to recognize objects and faces. The actual services that live under this umbrella are image analysis, spatial analysis, OCR and facial recognition. There's actually two more services that have crossover. One can actually help with reading handwritten text and the other for face analysis. I'm gonna cover them later, but for example, for OCR, computer vision has the ability to extract text from images and PDF files. For example, you can use the read API to extract the text and then you can use a text analytics service such as the text analytics API in order to perform sentiment analysis on that specific text. And for facial analysis, you can consider this as the general computer vision service. For example, here's a face, but here are also the faces attributes. So do they have glasses? Do they have a mask on? and many, many more details that allow you to create more detailed use cases around them. AI vision is important for you to master if you actually want to become an AI engineer because it can be used for so many use cases. And actually companies are looking to develop solutions such as image tagging or for content moderation on social media platforms or for image search. I mean, look, let me know down in the comments if you want to deep dive into computer vision. But next, let's actually look at custom vision because this service actually allows you to easily train your own image recognition models. So you can build your own model and then you can integrate it into an application. And this is great because you can build both image classification and object detection models without actually needing any deep learning experience. And all you need is an image data set and then you can just train your model and you can deploy it as a REST API. Custom vision is extremely useful when you actually have a custom industry specific use case. Something like quality control in manufacturing or product recognition in e-commerce or object detection in surveillance systems, for example. As I mentioned the face service earlier, this has some crossover with computer vision, but it's actually more specific because you can actually identify human faces and their attributes in both images and in videos. And when we think about attributes, we can think about emotions or facial landmarks for verification. You can actually get the head pose, for example, and this is helpful for liveness verification in videos. You can also get the facial hair. You can get whether the person has glasses on or if the person wears a mask. But keep in mind that all of these attributes are predictions. So you're gonna need some extra logic in order to use them in your applications. The way that it works is that it detects human faces in an image and then it returns the rectangle coordinates of their locations. And then it also returns a unique ID that actually represents the stored face data. 
plus of course the phase related attributes that I just mentioned. So you can use all of them later on for operations like to identify a person or to verify a person's identity. Think about it in terms of access control or even personalized marketing or even sentiment analysis in market research or a much simpler one to actually just tell people to take off their sunglasses or masks if they enter a location. Next, you have to understand how to use document intelligence, which was previously called form recognizer. Both names are actually straightforward for what it does and it's pretty obvious because with it you can extract structured data from forms and from multiple types of documents. It can automatically extract information such as text and fields from pretty much any type of document and that includes invoices and receipts. What you can do is to analyze the document's layout and identify key fields and sections. Then you can train custom models to actually recognize these layouts and fields. And then you can extract the text and pretty much any data that you want. This is a very straightforward service that helps for example with automating data entry tasks. Text Analytics. This is a core Azure service that provides NLP for sentiment analysis, key phrase extraction, named entity recognition, entity linking and language detection. And all of these would require a separate video in order to dive deep into all of them. But in a nutshell, text analytics can analyze the sentiment of text documents to determine whether the expressed sentiment is positive, negative, or neutral. It also extracts key phrases and important phrases from text documents. It can also identify and classify named entities in these text documents. Think about entities such as people, organizations, locations, and dates, for example. And for language detection, it can automatically detect the language of the text document. The number of use cases where you can use these services is huge and I think these are the quick wins that you can get by using Azure AI in your company. So text analytics is a must and you're going to use it paired with many other services that I'm talking about. Azure AI search is a crucial service that you're also going to need to learn so that you can get a job as an Azure AI engineer because with AI search you can build scalable search solutions. This way the users of your application can find information quickly. I made a video about setting it up a while ago, but I think AI search needs another one so we can go into all of it specific. But for now, let's just get the gist of it because you ingest data from multiple sources and then you extract the content and then you transform it into searchable documents and then you push it into search indexes. And once the data is indexed, you can perform complex searches and then you can get the relevant information using advanced queries. And I'm actually using AI search on getthatbash.com and I'm using it in the question answering assistance. At getthatbash.com we offer both practice exams and AI assistance to help you prepare for cloud certification exams. We currently have both Azure and Databricks practice exams and we're adding more and more every month. So definitely check it out as if you're looking for a way to support this channel, this is a way. You support Decision Forest and you support yourself by learning a new skill. The last two services that I want to cover are the language and the speech services. And at the end I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to actually focus on in order to get a job as an Azure AI engineer. Speech services are a part of the broader AI services and it actually gives us tools to add speech features to our applications. And there are a lot of things that we can do with it. But the first is obviously speech to text. This turns spoken words into written words and it's great for writing down what somebody says. And it's even better than this because you can actually recognize speakers and you can also translate spoken words into many other languages. And you can also do that in real time. And all of these features are great when you want to capture conversations and understand them. But what's even better is that you can also have text to speech. And this changes written words into spoken words. You can use it in virtual assistants, you can use it in applications that use spoken audio or in your videos if you want to do a faceless channel. The nice thing about it is that it has different voices and different languages that you can choose from. It also lets you change how the voice sounds and I think the speech sounds very natural for pretty much these AI voices. Speaking about the language service, I already covered text analytics a bit earlier but there's two more services that you can look into. The first is the translator service and this one translates text and you can do that both in real time and you can do it in batch. This is a great service for live conversations and if you can pair it with text to speech afterwards then you get yourself a great use case with this pairing. The last AI service that I want to talk about is language understanding. This again deserves a full video about it and if you're interested let me know. But overall it allows us to build custom machine learning models that can understand user commands and then it performs actions based on those commands. Now we have so many services that we can use as AI engineers. So what should you start with? I think it actually depends a lot on the use case that you choose. Currently Microsoft has an accelerator for pretty much every use case that you can think of and that's your starting point. Check out what they're already offering as deployable templates and you can just start from there. Personally I suggest that you start with use cases that involve AI search and the reason for that is that many companies need this. Pretty much any company has a Q&A use case that they need to implement as soon as possible and that can get you through the door with using these type of services. 
and then you can build your expertise from there. Becoming an Azure AI engineer has never been easier. Today you have so many resources that can get you up and ready in no time. And a lot of deep technical expertise has been abstracted away behind these clickable interfaces. Whether that's good or bad, that's up to you to decide, but this is what we have now. So what services do you want me to cover in depth? Let me know down in the comments and also like and subscribe if you want to become an Azure AI engineer. I'll see you in the next one.